What's up my fellow entrepreneurs? How you guys doing today? This is Chris Melhoit coming to you with another video about getting rich, being an entrepreneur, and doing what you can to get out of that nine to five flow that sucks. Nobody wants to do that anymore. Nobody wants to be working for somebody else, slaving their days away. So let's talk about some concepts here today that might be able to help you get out of that grind and start your own business. Now, what we're gonna be talking about is the cash flow quadrant. If you haven't read any books by Robert Kiyosaki, I started off Rich Dad, Poor Dad was one of the first books that I ever read about business and it absolutely opened my mind to all the possibilities. Absolutely incredible book. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki is definitely a thought leader in the entrepreneur space. Um, so go check that out. But what we're talking about today is the cash flow quadrant, one of his other books. So if you are a business owner and you are thinking about getting into your own business, starting to be an entrepreneur, do me a favor and read this book before you move forward. All right. But before we get into that, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, smash the thumbs up for me guys. Help me out. I'm brand new with this. So any likes, any subscriptions are going to make a huge difference in the YouTube algorithm and help get this video out to more people. So if you're getting some value, if you've gotten value from my other videos, please subscribe. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. So let's get into it. The cash flow quadrant, what am I talking about, right? So if you're an entrepreneur or you're starting your own business, there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. There is four different types of people in the workforce today, right? So there are your employees your small business owners, your big business owners, and your investors, right? So most people, I would say the vast majority of people, they fall into this employee category. This is the category that I'm hopefully gonna help you guys escape if you are in the employee category. Uh, essentially what you got is somebody else is making your schedule for you. You signed up when you took the job for whatever wage they are giving to you. It could be an hourly rate, it could be a salary, it could be even based off of commissions if you're in sales, but you are an employee if you are depending on somebody else to give you your paycheck, right? The next one is small business owner. Now these people are essentially, in my opinion, they are employees that are doing all the work themselves, right? So you still have to go to work every day to make a paycheck. You could be, say, a chiropractor is a great example of this. You might say a chiropractor is an entrepreneur, they're moving out, they're moving up in the world, right? They make good money. But if a chiropractor doesn't go to work and their hands aren't doing work throughout the day, they're not getting paid. Then on top of that, they have a whole bunch of employees that are counting on them for their paychecks. So there's even more stress than being an employee but you still cannot find freedom by being a small business owner. So some other examples of small business owners, you got chiropractors, you have, uh, maybe you own a garage, uh, maybe you are a massage therapist, you are a personal trainer, um, you could own a painting company. There's a lot of different uh, small business owners categories. You guys could probably think of a hundred. Uh, it is awesome in terms of trying to start on the right you know, getting out of being, uh, working that nine to five, but it's just not enough. You are still reliant on yourself to make that income, except for now you have more bills that are attached to it. You have the rent, you have insurance, you have all these different things. The next step is moving over to the right side of the quadrant. This is a big deal. What the goal is in life and in business is to move from the left side of this quadrant over to the right side. And that's where you got your big businesses and you have your investors. Now, big business is say it's, it, you might say it's a small business owner, right? Some, something similar like that, but it's not. Uh, a big business has multiple employees, but they have basically the ability to take off on a vacation or to leave that business alone for a month to three months and come back and have it still be working. They have people that are in place that are running the day-to-day -day activities. They are doing the work. They are getting all these different things done, the accounting, the payroll. That is a big business owner. So you're probably talking uh, anywhere from 25 to 50 to 100 employees plus to be a big business owner. And you know what? There's still a lot of headaches when you're dealing with that because now you have a lot of employees that are still counting on you but if you do it right as a big business owner, you can really find freedom. You can find the people that can go out and run this business for you while you're able to go and focus on other things, which is really cool. And then when you're a big business owner in this quadrant, 
you actually can make enough money where now you can step down into the investor phase. Now we're talking type of Warren Buffett type things, right? So as an investor, that's where you're actually using money to make money. So you can even be an employee and start dabbling in the investor space, but you have to have a lot of money in there to be able to live off of that income, right? So I'm talking being an investor, you have enough money that is in that money machine that is working for you that you are actually able to live off of that income. So that is hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars that are invested to be able to live off of that income. Now, what I have learned personally uh, is through network marketing, and he talks about this in the book actually, it is the easiest way for the average person to move from this left side of the quadrant over to the right side of the quadrant. And let me tell you why, because it gives you leverage in your business. You don't have any employees as a network marketer. You have uh, hundreds of different people that are out there running the business and working with you, but you don't have to pay them. So you are essentially are able to be that big business owner and you can help coach and train and mentor these people, but you aren't reliant to go to work. So if you are in network marketing and you get your business up to a certain size, you can step away, you can take a vacation. If somebody gets sick in your family, you can go and deal with these things and come back and your business is gonna be either still there in the same size or a lot of times it actually grows because once you get a network marketing business, it's kind of like a snowball rolling down a hill. Once you get to a certain size, it starts to move without you whether you like it or not. So that's what's really cool. Then you can take some of that money and you can start moving into the investor quadrant as you move up in the ranks in network marketing and you hit those top tier ranks. We're talking people that are making 20,000, 30,000, 50, 100, and even more, $200,000 a month in this industry. So you can actually go, you're making more money than you need to live and you can now start turning that money over into investments. And that's how you can create generational wealth. You can build a business that's big enough in network marketing that you can actually turn that over into investing and you can actually set up something where your, fi your family is financially changed for generations to come, which is really, really cool. So if you guys haven't read the book yet, Cash Flow Quadrants, go get it, check it out. There's plenty of videos on YouTube talking about it. I would definitely get it if you're a big uh, Audible type person, go listen to it on Audible or get the book. I like to read books personally. I'm a visual guy and learn how you can start to take yourself from the left side of the quadrant into the right side of the quadrant and start to get some of that financial freedom that you deserve so you can start living life instead of having life kind of make you, it's, you know, it's whatever. So I hope you guys got something out of this today. Uh, this is Chris Malhoit. I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget, subscribe, hit me with a like if you got some value out of this, share it with your friends, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.